Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve. We got the hounds coming in. A day 825 in our second shipwrecked world. It just turned monsoon season. Whoa, coming in hot. Coming in hot, boys. Whack. Oh, he got me. What the hell? You're not supposed to get me. I'm the winner. I'm the breadwinner around here. Alright, that sword is done for. Let's go stash that. We'll use it for decoration in the future. I guess we will grab some of these meats. We'll probably hang them up to dry. Let's try not to get hit by the elephant spikes. And we did twice. Fantastic. I'm gonna have to make some more <laughs> healing junk now. Playing too goddamn careless. Give me it. Give me it. I want this one too. God dang it. All right, we're good. <laughs> we're gonna hang up these meats real quick and I think we can actually pop on over to the other green island on the other side. I've seen some red burns over there, so I guess uh, monsoon season, there are for sure red birds. On the other side of things, and we got some seeds in a bird trap. So we should be just fine. Let's go ahead and plop this guy down. We'll throw some seeds up in this piece. Not a piece of meat. Seeds up in there. Hey, what's up? Hey, red bird, I need you. Come on, bird in the trap. Bird in the trap, y'all. Gonna need a bird in the trap. Yeah, yeah, back off. Oh, there's blackbirds over here too. Come on. There was all kinds of red birds before. Yeah, you butthole. Come on, I got seeds in the trap for y'all. There she blow. All right, so we got a bird, and we have a pirate hat and some boards, so we should be able to actually finally craft that pirate hatinator thingy, my bobber. So if we go into this, yes we can. So where do we want this puppy? Let's go on the side. I guess we'll build it in line with the rest of this stuff, which means you would go right there. Good enough. Good enough for me. So what are some of the things that we could actually build with that that were locked last time? Probably some of these things. I'm not totally sure. I'll tell you the truth, it's more of the magic tab, so it's like the pan flute. Things like that. What have we Dark Swords we have not crafted either. Nightlight, one man band. Pan flute, dripple. I've never crafted this, but we don't have any horns. Holy crap, we need to get to doing that, yeah. Killing one of the water beefalo. Let's go ahead and hang up this little stupid piece of meat too. Pop a coffee. Actually, maybe we should just do that, right? Where's the nearest... Where's the nearest water buffalo territory? It's gonna be over here. That's something we could probably do. I don't see that being a problem. Let's go ahead and do it. I got all of this uh, deciduous turf on me because I was gonna bring it over to shipwreck. We're pretty much full up on that stuff around here. So let's go ahead and grab this boat. We're gonna go on over and see if we can actually fight a water buffalo. We didn't bring food. We got stupid... Monster jerky. I guess we could just eat it. If we need to, we will. We should be back in no time. Um, we might. Th this might be a rare drop, though, so we might have to kill lots of these things. I should have brought probably better stuff. I wonder if these guys actually come on land or not. I do not know. This is uncharted territory for me. Where are you guys at? Oh, shit. We got monkeys. There's... Okay, so we do have them. How are we doing on this boat? Let's go ahead and grab this. Let's go in for the attack. Oh, they're all going to charge. Can we go on to land? Oh, we got all the stupid monkeys, though. Um, Can the boat take some? It can take a little bit of damage. Will you come on land? You will! Oh, nice! I don't see this being a problem, then. Well, if they all group up together, it might be. How many have we got? Like five or six? Oh, good lord. Maybe we should actually just throw on some gear and tank the crap out of them. Nope, we shouldn't be doing that. We can't throw on a helmet, though. Dang you! Dang you, you beefalo! Oh, I hate you. Die! Give me some things! I don't even know what a dribble pipe is, for Christ's sakes. 
gonna have to heal. <laughs> Stupid dribble pipes. Oh, you just keep on giving me the stuffs. Why you gotta hit me in my booty like that? Hey, what's up? Oh, you guys hate me. I should have brought better like stuff to fight them with. I could have brought like a shitload of blow darts and this would have been super easy. But instead, we'll just ruin all of our gear we got, apparently. Oh, it's like I want to get them away from each other. Whoa, he got like stunned or something. I was giving him the wax. He pooped. Oh, one's dead. And they hit me. Did we get one? No, we just got meat. I guess we'll take the meat though. I mean, that is free food. We need food too. I'm making them poop because they're getting scared of me. It's gonna be freaking nighttime. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Should we just try to tank a bunch of them? We're gonna lose a whole set of Thulacite gear if we do. Probably not. Oh, we lost our helmets. Holy crap city! Oh, nice. We got lucky and it's actually a full moon tonight. Um, maybe... Do they all wake up or just one? Okay, just one. Crap. Crap, crap, crap baskets. Well, they all woke up in that one. Alright, we need some healing stuffs. This is kind of stupid because I'm just like... Making myself super... Super vulnerable. It's like you can't do anything. Like, if they're gonna hit you, they're just gonna hit you. Oh, we got one. Alright, that's good enough. I mean, we know how to get them. We know that we just get them from these guys and that we can just fight these guys to get them. <laughs> that was good. That was good talking I just did right there. So, we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here. We ended up getting uh, some meat out of it. We got a little bit of poop. Meat and poop. Ooh, look at this guy. This guy's got a secret poop by him. You know what? We're gonna kill you. Holy crap, look at all the stuff that you had. Stupid monkey. Where's my stupid boat? What's up with stupid hair? Alright, let's throw this on. Let's get the hell out of here. We could actually pick up these water poopies, too. Why the hell not? So those guys are a little bit difficult to kill. I mean, if we had, like, a shit ton of blow darts we could just easily take them down and that's what I would do next time for sure I just wanted to see if I could get a quick horn because we have never had this where are we going we're going up here so we can actually craft some dripple pipes I have no idea what they even do maybe it'll tell us that the thing thing and then something that whoa what was that was that a thing no my boat's almost dead no my boat's dying that's okay though we're fine so we're going to craft some dripple pipes and then it's over to Reign of Giants. I think we have like five or six days left. We're in winter. We're going to try to get Deerclops to spawn and we're going to fight him in the Tooth Trap area. See how fast he actually dies. And I think it'll be pretty dang fast. So that's something. That's something to do. Um, let's go ahead and look in here. Let's go ahead and repair that boat a little bit. A little something something. All right. Back on the road. Get that walking cane out, boy. We do have seeds on us. I guess we'll just eat these. These are not important at the time. Let's go ahead and just hang these meats, I guess. Actually, no, we'll bring those over. Nah, no, we won't. Maybe a couple. So we are going to throw these on. We are going to craft some dripple friggin' pipes, whatever the hell that is. So, um, magic. Pan flute, dripple pipe, two. One rope, two junks. So do we have any rips? We do. And do we have any junks? And we do. We'll just take that, whatever the hell ever. Alright, so... Going into here, get the dribble parks, make the, make the world weep. So it's like, oh yeah! So is this another way just to make it rain? It's gotta be, right? Yeah! Oh, that's act that could actually be super useful. 
That's super useful in Reign of Giants. Well, it's like it could do all sorts of things. Like anytime anything was on fire, that would be super helpful. So this is like the version of the pan flute for this world. I wonder if it puts things to sleep. Probably not, because it just makes it rain. Let's go ahead and grab some more of these monster jerkies that we apparently already have dried. That was super fast. And then I think we're going to pop on over to Shipwreck and see what is what. Wait for that deer clops. We still do have a little bit of this bird trap, but this bird trap's a piece of crap. We're going to throw it in there. We could put our nightmare fuel back. There was no need to have this junk on us for sure. Let's go ahead and just pop over there and see if we actually have a deer clops right away or not. Most likely not, but we will see shortly. Come on, fast load times, fast load time, truck, I love them. Deer clops. Or not. We got a little bit of glomer junk. We'll take that. Stash that crap. Alright, so I think I'm going to just wait around till the deer clock actually spawns. We're going to just sit in this trap area and see what he does. He'll probably end up destroying this fire pit, but we can always replace that easily. And then maybe we'll go fight some McTusks. We got a couple of these. They only spawn in winter. So if we actually get them before the last day, we will get to doing those two things. I'm just going to kind of do some base maintenance and things like that, and we will be back in a bit. All right, everybody, and we are back once again, and you can hear it. The deer clops is coming, so I guess we'd want to be on this side of things. Too bad it just turned night, but hey, it is what it is. At least we got these lanterns that'll kind of show us what is what. We're, we, I, I kind of think oh, I want them to spawn, like, out here first, and then we'll drag them in. But I'd like it to be, like, right around here, if possible. We might have to throw a little crappy fire down... Let's go ahead and do that. So we're just gonna... Oh, what? Why are you trying to get me, bro? So we're just gonna try to aggro him. We do not want him to break all of our bunny huts. That might be a thing that happens, but we can easily rebuild them. So I guess whatever. We will keep our walking cane on. We will stay by the fire. We got our Tamo Shanter. I made up all of these sleep darts, with which actually just take one stinger, a couple of cut reeds... And a feather, and we have tons of those. So I was like, I made these just for when we're going to fight possibly the the McTusk and whatnot. We could also use him. All right, so are you coming for me? Where are you? Crap, what are you fighting? You're not over here. Where are you? All right, you're over this way. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're good. Are you going to try to wreck this fire? Oh, you're already after me, right? Oh, sweet. We'll even give you like a pre-spank. Pre-spank. Haha. <laughs> All up in your face, man. Come on, bring it. Oh, can I put him to sleep? Let's do this. No? Oh, it's it's cold as a mother. So, do I... That didn't put you to sleep? Who cares? We're taking the damage, I know. Oh, we're over by the cactus spikes. That's not good. Good. All right, stay on me. <laughs> we should be fine. I know we're freezing, but that's just fine. Let's go into the tooth traps. How many? How many can you take? You gonna break this thing? Oh, you didn't even break it yet. Don't break it. Oh, you're sweet. Still taking damage. I just want to see if we can just literally take this thing out without... <laughs> yeah, it seems to be like no problem. Let's go ahead and warm up. We'll take our light off. Let's go ahead and fix some of these two traps. So yeah, it's like this thing can easily take down the deer clops, it looks like. Go ahead and take this meat. Eyeball is the most important. Let's grab that. So what do you think? Probably about 20, 20 something traps and he was dead. That's pretty fantastic. So it's like, we could also use this for the moose goose. I wouldn't do it with the barger because I think the ground pound would uproot these things, as I have said before. We could use it for the mosslings if the moose goose did spawn those. So it's looking pretty good. Like, we should be... Uh, they, they easily kill the hounds. They easily kill the varg. This is pretty much an all-around good thing right here. Holy crap, city. 
So I guess what we will do is we will probably scoop up one of our little hot balls here. <laughs> Thermal stone. <laughs> and we're going to go down and fight the McTusky. So, oh, can we not? Reset, reset it. Reset it, please. Fine, I'll turn the frickin' thing. You happy? Alright, so we are good. Let's go ahead and get our little meat present. Reset that. Get that. And that, and this, and that, and that, and this. Um, I gra I guess we should probably... We have three coffees. That's probably more than enough. Let's go ahead and stick this eyeball in the chest. We'll bring our sleep darts just for the hell of it. We'll grab one of these. We can start a fire there. We will throw that. We will eat. Eh, we'll eat two honey hams, and we're on our way. We should be just fine. Looks to be full health. Our sanity and everything is good. Let's actually switch out the balls. Sometimes you gotta switch your balls out. I'm neither for or against it. So, we need to go down to this area. We could actually take the path a little bit of the ways. Not far. Um, there is a road over here, but like during the winter time, like it snows and you can't see anything. The road's somewhere around here. We can't really see it. So hopefully this will be pretty easy. I wonder... It just takes multiple sleep darts to put things to sleep, obviously. We're going to go ahead and pull these out. This is going to be our main weapon we start out with here. Um, we might end up running into them any second. Oh, looks like we got one of these totally normal trees around. Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, should we fight the hounds first and say screw it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, we have two of them really close. Okay, we got one down. We gotta look out for those, for those darts, cause those could be pretty bad. Where are ya? This stuff's all up in the way, bro. All right. You chasing me still? I just don't want to take too much damage. <laughs> like that. Run! Oh! I gotta throw my helmet on. Alright, we got one. We should be alright. Come on, take him. Alright, so we got a walrus tusk. We got another sleep dart. We got some tooths. Killing the dogs, and then we just got another one. Alright, so no, we actually got a walrus cane making material type thing. But we did not get another tam o shanter, which is too bad, but hey, what are you gonna do? Where did we run and kill that other dog? There should be more teeth and stuff. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. Here's one. Whatever. We're out. We gotta get out of here. I wanna get back home without having to make a fire out here. <laughs> but if we have to, it is what it is. Run! We're totally not going to make it without taking tons of damage. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. Alright, we need to make some honey poultices. God dang it. We're out. That's the main objective now. Can we make it back without freezing our butts off? If we do, it's only thanks to the TAM. Oh, we could kill those. We could totally kill those penguins! Alright. Not too shabby. So we did get a decent amount of stuff. We have these sleep darts. We know that these can be useful. We got a couple blow darts out the deal. A little walrus tusk. Nothing too fancy, but we did learn some things. That tooth trap just murdered the crap out of the deer clops and, and other things, you know. We got some stuff back together. We keep on moving. But I guess that will have to do it for this episode. If you did like it, go ahead and throw a like down. If you are not subscribed, you can do that as well for more content in the future, and we will see you next time in Don't Starve, Reign of Giants, Day 252, I mean, 1906, almost coming up on 2,000 days, so that's pretty friggin' sweet. All right, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.